hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel so today we are going to see how to print this uh, inverted uh, triangle shaped pattern using python okay here indexing starts from 0 and ends at 6 so this means this pattern contains 7 rows okay first let us try to print uh, only this much and then we will concentrate on this part okay so first we'll print this first half part and then we'll concentrate on uh, this second half part okay so here now i am in jupyter notebook so first let me initialize a variable called row and take the input from the user row equals input enter the number of rows okay if you just leave it like this uh, the input will be in the string we need to type cast it so we need to put int int and uh, we need to place this input function inside the int okay now that we have taken input from the user uh, now we need to put for loop for i in range row okay so here you need to understand if the user enters input as 4 the value is going to start from 0 and, and, and that 3 okay 0 1 comma 2 comma 3 so if there is no start value uh, then the range function will take initial value as 0 and ends at uh, this row minus 1 so if you want it to start from 1 you need to give 1 and if you want it to end at 4 you need to give plus 1 so let's see if um, uh, let's see what the range function is going to print okay print i so 4 you can see uh, 1 2 3 4 it prints 1 2 3 4 i'm not now i'm not going to give any start value i'm just gonna leave it as row now let's see what it is going to print so 4 it's going it's gonna print 0 1 2 3 so I'm just gonna leave it by uh, default value so now let's see how to print this uh, this triangled right angle triangled shape this first half part okay so here indexing is starting from 0 and it is ending at 3 so at 0 throw we have 1 star at first row we have 2 star at second row we have 3 okay so for that we need to print star how many times this first star is for mul uh, for printing and second star is for multiplication so here we need to print star how many times so initial value of i is 0 and then it is 1 then at second iteration it is 1 third iteration it is 2 at fourth iteration it is 3 so we need to print star how many times i i plus 1 times okay let's see how it is going to print so i'm going to enter 4 so there you have it we have this right, uh, right angle triangle shape this, that is the first half part of uh, this pattern now we need to concentrate on printing second half pattern so here at fourth row we have three stars and at fifth row we have two stars at sixth we have one star so for that we need to take another for loop so for i'm gonna uh, take here j in range of I'll just leave it as row here also so we can see the if the user enter 4 uh, the initial value will be 0 till 3 okay now we need to print second half part so print star so here you need to understand uh, how many times we need to print star so here yeah, in this uh, in this figure you can see at fourth row we have 3 so that is row that is row minus j minus 1 so I'll explain it you and explain it to you so here a row value if the user enters row value as 4 okay j value here initial value uh, initial value of j will be 0 and then we are subtra subtracting it by minus 1 so that is 4 minus 0 minus 1 so here the value will be 3 so it's going to print three stars in the next iteration the j value will be one here it's going to be one so four minus two 
it's going to print two stars okay in the third iteration j value is going to be two and here j value is going to be two so here four minus three is one okay so now the coding part is over let's execute this program and give the input as four enter the number of rows i'm going to give four so yeah there you have it if you want uh, this figure uh, to contain some space in between the stars you can just give here space and here space okay i'll execute it once again and i'm going to give four see now it's more nicer and cleaner see there is a space in between two stars okay all right guys this is how you print uh, this inverted uh, triangle shape pattern using python so this is the code for it if you guys like this kind of content consider subscribing and i hope you learned something new and i'll see you guys in the next video until next time take care bye